guess you know, let's just, just kind of the obvious question. What did that touchdown run feel like for you with kind of the way this season's gone in terms of production? Uh, it felt great, man, just to be back out there with those guys. You know, I definitely showed a lot of emotion. I was definitely excited, but, you know, it was good, though. I felt good. Are you surprised that you hadn't gotten more action heading into the last game? Uh, no, not really. You know, I can just, you know, control what I can control. But at the end of the day, you know, I was just excited to be back out there with those guys. What have the last few weeks been like for you? Uh, I've just been preparing hard each and every week. Uh, just preparing with the O-line, preparing with, you know, Jackson and all the other guys and stuff like that, just to make sure, you know, I'm on top of things and being able to go out there and make plays. I'm assuming you went into the season expecting in the first half of the year to have a bigger role than you had. Mm -hmm. Was it was it frustrating to not have that role? Uh, it. I don't think it was really just frustrating. It was just, you know, more of a just, like I said earlier, just controlling what I can control. And, you know, I was just glad I got the opportunity to go out there and they call my name and do what I do. Do you feel that performance earned a bigger role moving forward? Do you anticipate a bigger role moving forward? I mean, I already think so. Everybody know my role here. Everybody know what I contribute and know what I, you know, bring to this team. So, I mean, I'm going to just continue to just be me and be myself and, you know, go out there and make plays for my team. Were you told why you weren't getting, you know, I guess the, the workload that we were expecting going in? Uh, I wasn't told anything. Just kind of like I said, I've I just been going through the seasons, just being able to just control and what I can control and just whenever my name is called, just go out there and make plays. And I guess is there an element moving forward with the bye week too, but how fresh do you feel? Uh, you know, I feel really fresh. My body feels good. You know, it's a tough loss that we had, but, you know, it's also a lesson as well, too, you know, for us to just go up, go about this week or whatever and just, you know, continue to strive and do better. Maybe you you haven't or don't know, but, I mean, like maybe you've been heard about just the first six weeks, seven weeks of the support of the fans wanting to see you more out there in the offensive capacity. I mean, what does that mean to you that, that these fans have been literally kind of begging to see you play more? Uh, it definitely, you know, it means a lot. It shows a lot of support. You know, just even when I go out there, you know, the, the crowd is just screaming do and all that types of stuff. So, you know, it's definitely fun to see those fans, you know, show that type of support. And I was just glad to be out there and just making plays. How have you managed to stay positive through all this? I feel like not everybody would have the resilience. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, like Kiffin talks about it all the time, just going through adversity. Uh, you can't just, like, just lay down and just be low at all times. Like just always being positive and just figuring a way out how to get better each and every day to just be great. I think when this first became a topic like about a month ago, uh, Lane said that I guess he was playing the best two guys that were practicing. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like maybe something dropped off in pra during practices for you? Uh, yeah, like I said, I can only, you know, control what I can control. I mean, I was just blessed with the opportunity for when my name, you know, gets called and everybody know my role on the team. So, you know what it is. So when my names get called out there, I'm able to go out there and make plays. And that celebration at the end, can you kind of explain that? Uh, yeah, definitely, man. I, when I scored, I, you know, I just started beating my chest and kind of just talking to the crowd. You know, I was just so excited to be back out there and, and just do what I do. Lane mentioned earlier, I think even today, just a little bit ago, I guess he, he met with you and, and had a good conversation. I think he said he was, he was proud of you. Um, what was that conversation like from, from your perspective? Uh, you know, it was a good conversation. You know, he, he just always kind of talks to me and kind of keep it always positive with me at all times. But, you know, he definitely was proud of me. Everybody was just proud of me to see me go back out there and just make plays and do what I normally do. <clears throat> Pass protection kind of seems like it might be an area of improvement for the backs as a whole. What, what do you guys make of that? What's the assessment of, of that, and how can you improve that going forward? Uh, we definitely, like, looked at it from today. I think, like, for me, it was kind of, like, just horrible at, at times. But, you know, we definitely going to look at it more and just kind of get better and more to be able to just protect Jackson at all times so he can make plays as well. Do you think that's like a weight room thing or like a technique kind of thing? Uh, no, nah, it's just probably like a, just a technique thing. That's about it. But 
you know, we're going to do everything we can to protect him so he can make plays too. Appreciate y'all.